Welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Dara Breen, and joining me this week are Nish Kumar, Ed Byrne and Ed Gamble, Milton Jones, Hugh Dennis <laughs> and Angela Barnes. We start tonight with a round called If This Is The Answer, What Is The Question? On the board are six categories. <laughs> Angela, which category would you like? Can I have world news, please, Dara? Lovely. Your category is world news, and the answer is six. <clears throat> what is the question? Is it what do men in New Zealand think about every <clears throat> ten seconds? <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, what was the number of the sixth person to own a telephone? <laughs> Is it how many calories were in the winning dish on North Korean MasterChef? <laughs> Is it the number of times my father has referred to this show as Mock of the Week today? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling yeah. you, it is yeah. literally written behind me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And people go, oh, yeah, I know you, you're in Mock of the Week. <laughs> really? Really? Read it. Read it, asshole. <laughs> Read it from behind me. Is it that your head looks like an O? <laughs> 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 so are you, are you so saying the that? Firstly, the, the, the Dara has a large head thing again, right? Did, Second. did I say large? I was referring to the baldness. OK. <laughs> <laughs> but also that it would be mock o the week. Well, uh, yeah. Like, you of all people, et tu, Paddy. <laughs> uh, is, is it, it, is uh, it, what is the slang term for mutual oral sex but someone gets up halfway through because they're bored? <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. as they left. <laughs> How many children do Wills and Kate need to have to make sure that Harry's never king? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to bring something up about this. So, so she's pregnant and with her third one. Yeah. I, I didn't know there was a second one. I honestly <laughs> <laughs> I saw the news and I was like, who's that little girl? Yeah. <laughs> They're they like should. fast and furious movies. <laughs> <laughs> One more one. than you think. Did, did you not see the other word? Previously on Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Is it how many seconds would a giraffe last in a World War I trench? <laughs> <laughs> Is it what's the population of South Korea in 2018? <laughs> Oh, the South Koreans are tonight. Yeah, it's very sensitive. Is it simply at what age does life start to go downhill? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure um, if it's your delivery that broke my heart or their applause. <laughs> <laughs> you randomly selected 300 people. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I can't tell whether they were applauding because they were like. Yeah, he is right. Or whether it was like, yeah, his life did go wrong. Both <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it yeah. if you're collecting the number six from an airport, what would you write on a piece of card? <laughs> <laughs> Surely you'd recognise the number six as it can do. <laughs> yeah. Or it Can't might be nine that. doing a handstand. It could yeah. be nine. <laughs> yeah. It could be it number could be 66 it. and they'd had an argument on the plane. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Could somebody actually give me the correct uh, answer? I think this is a reference to North Korea, because this is the sixth uh, nuclear test that they've done. Absolutely right. Thank you very much, Nish Kumar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the question I was looking for was, how many nuclear tests has North Korea carried out? This is the news that North Korea has conducted at the time of recording. It's six nuclear tests, its biggest so far. The country claimed it had detonated a hydrogen bomb that can be fitted to a ballistic missile. I love the caveat of, at time of recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the way things are going, this could be the first ever episode of Mot the Week not to make it to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it looks not a very impressive nuclear weapon, is it? No, that's you want more like... stripes or something? Did you no, want no, like, just, uh... it just looks like a? It is scrappy... a very impressive butt plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is what, it's very worrying, though, isn't it? Like a megalomaniac, he's got nuclear weapons and a terrible haircut. Mm. He's taking on Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to commend Ed Gamble uh, on his commitment to satire this week because he appears, <laughs> he appears to have had his hair cut exactly <laughs> like Kim <Yeah>. Jong Un. <laughs> well, I didn't want to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we have a... I, uh... wanna, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I've got a rather important audition later. <laughs> <laughs> The rules of being the uh, of the lookalike uh, on uh, on the show is you really got to do the whole pose. Have you got the picture? What do you what do you mean the whole pose? I look forward to seeing how that was when I watch it back. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, the nuclear tests in, in North Korea. Are you, are, is any, are you panicking? Are you scared? Are you... No, because I know where all the nuclear bunkers are. Are you going to share the information or is nope. it one of these things that you should... <laughs> That's between me and the key holders. There are 1,500 of them in this country. Enough for 1% of the population. OK. That 1% of the population being government and not us. Right. So if we tried to get into one, we'd be shot dead. Not Dara, he's the science man. Yeah, I'm the yeah. science man. <laughs> I'll be there going, hello, I'm, I think I'm the science guy. Yeah. And from the other side of the door, Brian Cox will go, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> the, how, by the way, has, has America responded to all this? Oh, very, very, very calmly. <laughs> <laughs> in these situations, what you want is, uh, is a president in the White House who's a reality star and a mm. secretary of state for defence whose nickname is Mad Dog Mattis. <laughs> He has so far threatened North Korea with total annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> he is, no, he said that total annihilation is... He's not taking that off the list of possible... No, he's looked, well, he's looked at the, he's looked the, at the various the possibilities, options, hasn't he? Total yeah. annihilation remains one of the possible yeah. options, yeah. Apparently, China said to Trump, don't turn the North Korean president from dictator to martyr, and Trump said, we say tomato. <laughs> Does Kim Jong Un really believe that the US wants to invade no. North yes, Korea? Yes, he's been told this for years. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's it's so insane. That's like Piers Morgan having a birthday party and hiring bouncers. It's like no one's coming, Piers. <laughs> 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 Who, um, who's in the middle of all this? Who's, who's, who's in the middle of all yes. China? The whole of the rest China? of the world. South, South Korea. It's Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Japan. <laughs> Yeah, and they fired it. Because they fired it over yeah. Japan. In the same week that they did the underground yes. test, they also fired a missile that landed over Japan. They yes. tipped it so over them like that. Not on Japan. Not no. on Japan, but. So really, it's the Pacific Ocean that needs to work. Yes, and they fired a possible <laughs> nuclear weapon into an ocean near Japan, which we as well know has animal life in it that reacts badly to having nuclear weapons fired at it. I think we've seen no, 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 no. enough documentary from Do you know the giant. Do you know this because you're the science man? I'm yeah. the science man, and uh, for God's sake, listen to me. There's a lizard out there, and it's going to attack me. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. We can't close the beaches. It's Labor Day weekend. But my wife dies. <laughs> In the remake. Uh... None of the Japanese knew what to do, though, did they? They well, got they're... a text message to say you've got ten minutes. There's a nuclear weapon coming over. Yeah. What do you do? It's like a fire alarm. You wander out onto the street to have a cigarette. What do you do? What happens? <laughs> He seems delighted, admittedly. That's a particularly happy photograph for him in this situation. But yeah, but yeah, they all could do is there's some sort of great text that we would all go, oh, spam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why is he with one general and three train conductors? <laughs> <laughs> It's a tricky text to compose, the text that you have to send to all the people in Japan saying there is a nuclear... Like, if you use emojis, it's going to compromise the seriousness of the message mm. unless you get it just right. So I would suggest explosion emoji, prayer hands, prayer hands, smiling poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As a spokesperson in Japan described it as grave and unprecedented. It's like, grave, yeah, but unprecedented yeah. in Japan. It's yeah, the only yeah, place yeah. where it is precedented. <laughs> <laughs> There were, apparently, you know? there were genuinely signs at the metro stations saying, we are experiencing disruptions because of a ballistic missile launch. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It was just disruptions. Mm. Like, yeah. here, obviously, everything would shut down immediately. There, the threat of nuclear war doesn't push them onto a replacement bus service. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, what are four American companies building for Donald Trump? Uh, uh, a wall. A, a wall, yes. Of a wall. Sections of a, wall. of a wall, yes. I think they're just trying out loads of different types of, like, one made of sticks, one made of straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He should have... I mean, he's asking all American contractors to build it. He should have just gone straight to China. It'd be a lot cheaper, and they are really good at walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
them all, aren't they? The spokesperson said they're going to test them all with small hand tools. Yeah. Which presumably are tools made specifically for Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 to be on small hand tool is the Secret Service code name. <laughs> How long is the wall? How long is the wall? 2,000... 2,000... 2, kilometres or 2,000 miles. Well, yeah, yeah. I bet it's still finished before he throws third runway. <laughs> <laughs> it won't get made because they keep saying the Mexicans are going to pay for it. There's no way this is going to get made. The people who are supposed to be building it may as well just say, we're going to build the best wall, there's going to be lasers and there's going to be lions <laughs> and it's going to be covered in tits. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to paint a tunnel on the side to catch that pesky roadrunner. <laughs> One of those companies, I'd be putting forward the Emperor's New Wall. Yeah. And yeah. just saying to Trump, yeah, only bigly clever people can see it. <laughs> and then just hire mimes to stand yeah. behind the wall. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> okay, uh, at the end of that round, Boris Gilder, Anthony Hewitt, no time! Yeah. Yes. Now, we play a round called Taking Up the Jong'un. This <laughs> one <laughs> involves Milton Jones and Ed Gamble. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. <laughs> this round is a stand-up challenge. I launch the Wheel of News, and whoever chooses to stop wins our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is exercise. Who wants to come in that? Ed. Uh, I ran the London Marathon this year. Yes, thank you. That was an absolutely amazing reception from you guys. Thank you very much. There was an awkward pause. Two people thought, I better fill that and go, ooh. And the rest of you collectively just went with, well, we could not give a shit. Thank you very much. Uh, we saw that on television. Thousands of people did that. Also, it was in April. How about you? Move on with your life. <laughs> Also, of course you ran the London Marathon. You are a white middle-class man in his early 30s. That's what you do. <laughs> and you're right, that is the most basic first step on the most basic posh man life ever. I can live my whole life on tracks now if I wanted to. That's how it goes. Marathon, marriage, kid, sleep with the au pair, divorce, crocs, death. That's it. <laughs> I did it for charity, uh, because I'm a great guy. Uh, I... <laughs> and you, sort, you sort of have to. Uh... <laughs> the charity I did it for was a type 1 diabetes charity. Uh, before you think I'm too good of a human being, we'll let you know that I am type 1 diabetic, so I will see that money eventually. <laughs> Very much playing the long game with that cash. <laughs> I actually enjoyed the marathon, though, uh, for one specific reason. Every few miles, there was groups of people stood there with blue rubber gloves on, with globs of Vaseline on the ends of their fingers, like this. <laughs> now, at the time, I had no idea that they were employed by the marathon. <laughs> You're supposed to run past them, take Vaseline, rub it on any areas of chafage. I had no idea they were supposed to be there. To me, that just looked like some sort of horrendous motivational technique. <laughs> You better keep running, boy. <laughs> you better pick up the pace. Otherwise, it's examination time. <laughs> you got an appointment with Dr. Fingers. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, that leaves us with Milton. Milton, let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. The topic is safety. <laughs> oh, you go. <laughs> I'd like to say to the old man who was wearing camouflage and using crutches who stole my wallet earlier, you can hide, but you can't run. <laughs> <laughs> of course, these days, a lot of people are putting poison on the menu of restaurants in the hope that French people think it's fish. <laughs> My dad's answer to everything was alcohol. He didn't drink, he was just very bad at quizzes. <laughs> I only have access to my son on Saturdays when he fell under the floorboards of a synagogue. <laughs> and I would like to see a world without plagiarism. 
Uh, you may say I'm a dreamer. <laughs> but I'm not the only one. <laughs> you see, my friends, if I had a crystal ball, I'd sit down very carefully. <laughs> They say that putting mud on your face is good for your skin, but I saw a sign the other day that said sewage treatment works. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't. Thank you, Edgar Brown. Boys and lads, go to Edgar Come on back. Our next round is called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topic of image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So, what's going on here? Is that after the latest exchange rates, is she holding Britain's pot we've got left to piss in? <laughs> <laughs> is Shinzo Abe saying, who is this ghost and why does she keep saying strong and stable? <laughs> He looks like you've got uh, I have a traditional Japanese welcome for you right here. It's <laughs> 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 more likely that Shinzo Abe is saying sake and she's saying no, I was being serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually very respectful what she's doing. She always dresses as the flag of the country she's visiting. <laughs> 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 uh, does anyone know uh, what it is? So, uh, they are laying bets on whether or not they can get Theresa May to drink the finger bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's Theresa May on a trade trip to Japan. Absolutely right. Thank you very much, Hugh Dennis. <laughs> yes, of course. This is a picture of Theresa May and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe during her visit to Japan last week. So, what did she announce while she was there? Oh, she said that she's not a quitter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah although, although she doesn't want to drink any more Japanese tea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust people who announce things that they're not doing. Like, I got on a train once and I went to sit next to this guy and he just looked at me and went, I'm not pissing my pants. And I thought, I'm not sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Again, usual thing apologies, to say. Angela. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know, it's a bit, she's a bit like a boxer, isn't she? Who gets knocked out and demands a rematch. You don't know whether to admire her tenacity or wonder whether there's brain damage. <laughs> Meanwhile, what has Boris Johnson been doing? He's been the same thing as Theresa May, which is... Well, rather dangerously, he has been in Nigeria. Are we sure that he's there negotiating trade deals, or is he there following up an email he received from the King of Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's far more likely that the King of Nigeria, or the Prime Minister of Nigeria, has Boris Johnson appear and go, fub -a -lub -a -lub -a -lub. <laughs> I'm the Minister for Foreign Affairs yeah. of the British Government, yeah. and we need you to invest £60 yeah. million, pounds, and then we'll give you lots of jam. He's going, oh, one of these. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we knew one was going to come the other way eventually. Yeah. 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 I wasn't born yesterday, mate. Yeah. 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 Delete, yeah. delete. Oh, delete. Oh, mate, we invented this. <laughs> uh, we invented this scam here. You don't, you can't kid a kidder. You can't yeah. come to Nigeria and tell us that you're the... <laughs> The foreign minister. <laughs> and that you have lots of jam. <laughs> They've not really... Either of them have uh, immersed themselves in the cultures of where they've been. And Theresa May went for tea and he went to the Guinness factory. <laughs> they might as well have asked for a fry-up and an EastEnders box. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is. Boris is enjoying it, though. Uh, oh, my God, what happened to his That's... face? <laughs> what happened? He looks like The Walking Dead! <laughs> His hand swollen up. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about Boris Johnson. No, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did anyone see, because he's done a number of these countries recently, did anyone catch the beautiful rendition <laughs> of God Save the Queen from the Libyan army, which greeted oh, Boris you, recently? Man. I know there may be very patriotic here if you wish to stand and silently <laughs> pay respects during God Save the Queen. That's like the scene at the end of Close Encounters when they're still trying yeah. to figure out. <laughs> Somebody like just yes. given them the instruments and gone, work out how to play them right now. <laughs> There's one guy who just comes in once. I think he just comes in and it's just whenever you feel like it. Do you ever feel like a John just comes in one note, one note just towards the end, just give it, just go for it. I, sorry, I'm going to do that again. Just this one guy and I just love him. He just comes in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
the news. What's been surprising drivers in Buckinghamshire? Oh. Glasgow. Yes. <laughs> Is it uh, they've got these bollards and uh, in order to get people to slow down, they've dressed the bollards as children. Yes. But not as sort of normal children, as the ghosts of children. Yes, they have. <laughs> Spooky children. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> horrific. Yeah, that you're supposed to drive past and go, oh, my God, I don't want to hit the spooky Kid, this New American York child. Jet <laughs> First thing I'd do, if I was driving at night and I saw a child that looked like that, I'd run it over immediately to release the demon within. Hmm. <laughs> The idea of these is that people will think the bollards are children yes. and slow down. Eventually, they'll realise that they're not children. Now, has anybody ever heard the story of the boy who cried... <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean in Buckinghamshire, previously, people have just been seeing bollards and been like, <laughs> not today, son. <laughs> Straight I, I into think this them. car can take it. I think <laughs> yeah. this car... I like my car <laughs> bollard-proof. <laughs> a very popular choice in this part of Buckinghamshire. <laughs> It'd be great if they were those bollards that came out of the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I think that kid's jaundice is going to get her before a car does. <laughs> they look like they've been put there to entice paedophiles. <laughs> I know the intentions were good, but what they've created is a Madden Two Swords for sex offenders. <laughs> yeah. Surely it would be more effective if you dress the children as bollards, and then people <laughs> will be less inclined to drive into the church. Because <laughs> they'll go, oh, am I damaged my car there? Uh... They cost five grand each. It'd be cheaper to pay a child. <laughs> And what do you call those things that s slow you down if you go over them? Uh, students. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe there's a brown one. Political correctness gone mad. <laughs> and, and, in, and in Buckinghamshire as and well. And in Buckinghamshire not, not as well. Really didn't need it for representation, <laughs> did they? Uh, yeah. no. Buckinghamshire going, that's clearly a bollard. <laughs> <laughs> Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read at this week's topics, then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is... Rejected exam questions. Which of the following is not a hydrocarbon? Kerosene, ethylene, come on, Eileen. <laughs> To your French exam. It's exactly the same as your English exam, but with tongues. <laughs> Postgraduate sociology. Your degree is good for driving a cab. <laughs> Draw the male reproductive system on this toilet door. <laughs> Why do Mummy and Daddy not love each other anymore? Was it something you did? <laughs> <laughs> Eton College A-Levels, question one. Is this the question your teacher showed you last week? <laughs> if Theresa has 330 seats in the Parliament and then she loses 13, <laughs> how does she still have a job? <laughs> Biology practical question one. Cock or ball? <laughs> <laughs> Psychology question one. How are you going to feel if you can't even answer this one? <laughs> <laughs> Cornwall has no capital. False or truer? <laughs> Identified this novel from the following quote. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Cockney Hardman exam, question one. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Theology. Is there a god? You'd better hope so. Look at this next question. <laughs> of all the dance moves. Please show your twerking. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Nuclear physics A-level. Mark on a map where Guam used to be. <laughs> Write an essay about your favourite hobby, but write it in foreign. <laughs> <laughs> Who predicted the first fridge? Was it A, Nostradamus, B, Propostradamus, <laughs> or C, Defrostradamus? <laughs> theoretical physics. Discuss the theoretical possibility of time travel. You have one hour starting three hours ago. <laughs> Advanced bullying, question one. Dickhead says what? <laughs> Discuss the use of symbolism in the Of Mice and Men books, which are, of course, Of Mice and Men, Two Mice, Two Men, and Of Mice and Men, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Pepsi. It'll do. <laughs> Immigration loves the jobs you hate. <laughs> Why do I use Pan 10? Because my other nine pans are broken. <laughs> <laughs> MySpace. We're still here! Why don't you ever visit us? <laughs> I'm sorry I slept with your sister at your granddad's funeral. Cards for any occasion at Moonpig.com. <laughs> Are you under seven and can stand still beside the road for a very long time? <laughs> Introducing the new BMW Hemorrhoid series, because eventually every asshole gets one. <laughs> Dove deodorant, because no one likes a smelly dove. Mmm. <laughs> Nishkuma. <laughs> Sounds exotic. But it turns out he's just a bloke. <laughs> Nike now sponsored the panda mating program at London Zoo. Just do it! <laughs> have you thought about retirement? I have since the age of six. <laughs> Are you a woman who wants longer lashes? How about showing a bit of ankle in Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Just think of it as like really shit cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tiddles just ran in the road and I couldn't stop in time. You can see pictures at comparethesmeardcat.com. <laughs> Nando's. It's basically a Sunday roast for brown people. <laughs> Budweiser, for when you only sort of want a beer. <laughs> <laughs> now, with new lip plumping technology, camel toe pants. <laughs> Look, I'm ashamed of myself, all right? Mr. Kipling makes exceedingly good cakes, and he's not a bad shag. <laughs> <laughs> Original source mint shower gel. It smells nice, but it'll burn your dick off. <laughs> and that's the end of the show. This week's winners are Nish Kumar, Ed Byrne and Ed Gamble. <laughs> Congratulations to Milton Jones, Hugh Dennis and Angela Byrne. Thank you for watching. I'm Darrell Green. Good night.